Hi there, welcome to Floating in Books. This is my jeans collection and declutter. Welcome to everybody watching today. Thank you so very much for joining me. This is a very jolly good morning on a Saturday morning when I'm filming this. Um, I'm not wearing a speck of makeup because I just want to try on all of my jeans that I've got lying here um, to determine whether I can get rid of some. So the, the way my jeans collection kind of works is that when I find a style that I like, I buy them in every shade I like. So that's why I have so many because I think there's like a good 30, 25 to 30 pairs of jeans here. Um, and I'm just gonna walk you through and let you know whether I wanna keep these, yes or no. I'm, I don't think I'm gonna try everything on because I do have, like I said, the same pair of jeans that I have in multiple colors and those colors are there for a reason because that's the, the main look and I'll just talk you through. And I, I'm also testing something out today um, because I thought maybe I could try and see if I can film using two cameras so that you can also get the angle from like jean height so that I don't have to like feff around with the imaging all the time. So I've got this camera filming me talking to you and then I have another camera down here that can get the angle of the jeans being on. I've never done this before like this, so I hope it works out. Uh, let me just get to it. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just wearing a basic black top because I feel a black t-shirt will go with everything. And this is the first pair of jeans I have for you. You will have seen these in my most recent um, weekend outfits that I showed you last week because these are the Topshop mom jeans and these are like my favorite. So these are the like most like denim style you could say. I need to turn around so you can see it from the back. I'm doing a little jiggy here. Yeah, so these are really nice. They're super high-waisted, which is what I like. And I do have a bit of a tummy, but that's why I love mom jeans because I feel they hug my curves the best of any jean style. So I used to be a skinny jean lover who wasn't if you're a millennial. Um, but then I switched to mom jeans actually quite quickly when uh, skinny jeans started to go out of style because this is sort of like in between that straight leg, wider leg that you see a lot of people wearing and a skinny jean. So this way I felt I didn't have to give up my love for something that's a little bit more tailored and they can show off my legs because I feel my legs are my best feature. So I'd like to show them off. Um, and yeah, at the same time, I just really like how comfy these are. These are a like 90, 90% cotton or maybe 100% cotton. So these were actually in the wash. So they're incredibly loose because I do feel with a lot of the jeans I have because they are the 100% cotton, they're not comfy the first time I put them on. <laughs> they are comfy after like half a day of wear. And that's how I like to buy my jeans where they're a little bit like tight fitting and like so that if they start to loosen up, they don't become too baggy and loose on me. So that's what I have going on here. So these are the Topshop mom jeans. I'm not sure if they still do this style because I haven't bought jeans in three years. There's one pair I bought, but most of these are two to three years old at least. And because I like these so much, and this is why I ended up buying this exact pair of jeans in the white, in a light wash that was actually the first pair I got, in an acid wash, which she also saw me wear in my weekend outfits, and I have it in the black. And the black, let me show you the stack. So this is them. These are all of the uh, Topshop mom jeans I have. Um, so I wore the acid once, uh, wash once when I filmed my weekend outfits for you as well. This is the only pair of black jeans I own. I don't like black jeans, I have found. <laughs> Through trial and error, I do like a black pant, but I prefer them to be trouser, to like to be, have them be dressier than a jeans. And the same thing goes for like lighter colors. I prefer like a linen trouser thing over a jean style for sure. So that's why I have a lot of blue jeans, which is why I'm like, I may have to call some of these, but yeah, these are my favorites. So these are not going anywhere. And we don't just have Topshop mom jeans. And this is why I'm like, maybe I need to just get rid of a few because I've got a couple more of these like more like medium toned um, mom jeans. These are from Urban Outfitters that I'm wearing at the moment. 
They are more of a stone wash. Like, let me grab the Topshop pair that I was wearing. Like, I feel these are a bit more blue. <laughs> Do you see? Like, these are a bit more gray leaning. And they have, like, a white patch here. Which, now that I'm looking at them in the viewfinder, I'm like, is that something I enjoy? <laughs> or not? Because I know... I have at least two more pairs that look very much like it. And these were definitely shoved into the back of my closet, meaning I haven't been wearing these a whole lot. So maybe these could be a contender for a declutter for sure, um, because I need to compare them. Are these the ones? Yes, I need to compare them to the monkey pair, which I tend to wear a bit more. They're cool. Oh, it's got a stain as well. <laughs> that could be why something... I don't know, something green? Maybe maybe I got bleach on it. So it does look like something that won't come out. It's definitely like tainted the fabric. Um, these are, by the way, like all of the Topshop ones and all of the mom jeans, I believe, are a size 32 waist and a size 30 length wise. So I'm not sure what like dress size that is going to be, but that's what I tend to wear in all of my jeans. I have a couple of more crop things that are like a leg size 28, which is why I love Topshop, because they actually do a leg length 28, which is something I can never find in the Netherlands because everybody's so tall here. And I'm like barely five, just over five feet tall. So <clears throat> I very often need a petite range. <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> here's the thing. The more I wear them, the more I like the look of these. What do you guys think? Should I keep these? Because I do like them. Like I'd rather keep a good pair of jeans than to declutter them just to declutter them. You know what I mean? Because jeans, like the, the, the way the process is as when they're being made is so wasteful that I'd rather hang on to something rather than me decluttering something and then going like, oh, but now I don't have those jeans anymore. Let me try on the monkey pair so we can compare. And here we have the monkey pair, which I think I like these better. <laughs> I think I do. I've only just put them on, of course, but I think I like the style a little bit better. They are longer. I don't believe Monkey does leg lengths. Like they don't do like a thir leg 30. It's just all the same size, which is a bit of a shame. I wish they would. <laughs> I've definitely tried on many a pant in the Monkey store and wasn't able to fit into them. So yeah, I like these. And I think I like them better than the Urban Outfitters ones. And I'll probably keep the straight leg ones I have from Urban Outfitters, so and I have three more mom jeans to go anyways. So yeah, th these are a definite keep. These are a definite keep. I think I'm confirming this for myself. These are by weekday. These are a different size though. They're a size 33, leg length 28, um, because the, the weekday sizing I have found is very, very weird. I had heard they had good jeans, so I wanted to try some. I cannot, for the life of me, find my size in store. I tried on so many things and everything was far too long and I couldn't figure it out until I went into their website and I found out they actually do shorter leg lengths. They just don't stock them in stores. Story of my life. <laughs> this is why I have to buy jeans online. Yeah, I like these. And I, again, I like these better than I do the Urban Outfitters ones. Um, th these are more of a truer blue. They're more similar to the pair from Topshop that I was wearing before. Um, yeah, I like these. These make me feel good. They're a little snug, but I also feel that the denim quality on this feels heavier than some of the other ones I've been trying on. Like this feels like actual stiff denim and it really needs to like relax and be worn and like not wash it too many times and all that. So so yeah, these are by weekday. They are the Lash. That's what they're called. I'm not sure anymore what the monkey ones were called. These weekday ones, I am totally in love with. And then I have two more mom jeans for you. Um, the first pair is this darker pair of denim. These are by Levi's. They are their high loose taper jeans in a size 30. Cause again, Levi's sizing. So confusing, but where I'm pretty sure, like in a lot of brands, I'm like a size 32 in jeans. I just know what to go for. And with Levi's, I always need to size down. Unless it was their straight leg jeans. <laughs> it's a mess. 
But yeah, these I really like. Um, rather than going for a black pair of jeans, I prefer to go for darker denim like this. This is my rendition of a black jean, and I like to wear this mainly in like the fall winter season. However, the past winter and fall season, I was wearing more trousers than I did jeans. I'm really getting into a jeans phase again, maybe because it's spring. Like jeans in the springtime with a t-shirt or a blouse is like my perfect, perfect outfit, but I find them too warm in the, in the summertime, usually, so I don't tend to wear a lot of jeans in the summertime. And then last fall, I wasn't really going back to jeans all that much. But yeah, these are really nice. I, where did I get these? I think I got them online. I think I bought them through their website. Um, and yeah, uh, Levi's and mom jeans, they're not really doing a lot, I feel, but I think these jeans are really, really nice. And here we have my final pair of mom jeans. These are by Dr. Denim. These are their Nora jean. And I really like these as, as well. Like the last time I tried these on though, they were a little snug and they weren't comfortable at all. And I'm putting them on today and I'm like, oh, I think I lost a little bit of weight, which it's not like a goal or anything, but <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy how these fit. A nice dark wash again. I tend to have like two pairs, like with the monkey and the Topshop jeans as well, because then when one is in the wash, I have another one <laughs> that I can wear. You know what I mean? So that way I can row three through them a little bit better. But yeah, these I really, really love. So these are the Dr. Denim Nora jeans and the label said it was also a 32 waist with a 30 leg. And now we're moving on to a different category of jean. We've got straight legs. <laughs> this is the first pair I wanna show you. These are by Arquette. And these are 100% cotton as, as well. I don't remember the size on them, but they are their tapered cotton regular jeans in the cropped style. I believe that's what they're called. So Arquette, like Monkey, doesn't do leg lengths, but they do tall, regular, and cropped. And the cropped style on someone of average height is going to have a cropped look. However, if you're short like me, you're going to wear them full length like this one is. Um, this is another reason why I struggle with Arquette. They don't do leg lengths and it's a real, real struggle for me to find anything on there for that reason, but I like these and that's why I, I think I can keep them because they, they still have a bit of a taper, but they're definitely looser throughout the leg without them being too barrel shaped, which is what I like. And again, they are that mid wash, stone wash denim sort of look which means that I kind of feel that these can really replace the Urban Outfitters one. So I'm pretty solid on decluttering the Urban Outfitters one now. The next pair of straight leg jeans is the Voyage from Weekday. Again, I have this in two colors because I also have this in white. And I really like this and I like how it's a straight leg jeans, pair of jeans that doesn't have the fringing at the bottom. The Arquette one didn't have it either because a lot of straight leg jeans had the fringing which I felt made them look a little bit dater, dated. And this is just a cleaner look. It will go with any shoe. But yeah, this is just a little bit more of a relaxed fit, which is what I also enjoy. And I'm really liking this right now. So these are the Voyage from Weekday. I'll have a look at the size when I take them off. But I have them in the white. And what I like about this pair of white jeans is that they're all white. Like even the stitching on it is white. And it has a silver silver hardware on it so for me that's perfect the pair of top shop jeans i have that are in a white but um the top shop jeans i have do have like the regular denim stitching so like the brown colored stitching on them which makes it go with a lot more things but if you want that pure white look i do prefer the weekday one so even though i have two pairs of white jeans you may be like they're very like they're very much the same but a they're a different cut and B, they do have that aspect of the details that are different on them. But yeah, I really like the Voyage. This is really comfortable. But as I mentioned already for the mom jeans, I struggled finding my size in weekday. So if you were looking into weekday, you may struggle as well. And this is a straight leg pair number two. These are from Topshop and they are just called their straight leg. Um, these do have the raw hem, which I don't like. I don't mind it on these. Um, most of the fringing has actually like disappeared. I can cut it off very easily. 
So yeah, these are the ones by Topshop. And as I was putting that pair on, I suddenly realized I have another pair of Topshop straight leg jeans. And this is a really different wash for me. It's like this gray. Like it's not quite gray, it's not quite blue. It's very much in between. And I really like this one. I really like the shade of it. So this is a definite keep. But I have decided that I also need to take a decision on these Topshop straight leg jeans because they may be too similar to what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> and the Voyage from Weekday. And the Voyage one from Weekday just feels like really nice, heavy quality denim. This one too. And the pair I'm wearing right now is from Urban Outfitters. This was the first pair of straight leg jeans I ever got. It's their Axle jeans. They no longer do them. And I wore them again the other day and I was like, these are so soft and comfy. I do believe they have a little bit of elastane in, um, and they do have that raw hem as well, which I'm no longer a fan of, which is why I'm like, hmm, maybe if I just, just have one pair of Topshop straight leg jeans and have it be that more special wash, I think, I think I'd be happy. Like, I'd rather keep these because these I've had for a very long time, and I just really love, love how these fit, and they have the lighter wash, and... I really enjoyed them. And then if I want to go for a straight leg pair of jeans, I do have some other options, as you'll see in a minute. Um, so yeah, I do really enjoy these as well. And because I like those light wash ones so, so much by Urban Outfitters, I also bought them in a darker wash. So these are like my designated darker wash pair of straight leg jeans. These are also by Urban Outfitters, but these are a different style. They were called the Packs. I think they changed materials or manufacturers that they could no longer maintain the axle line. I kind of think that's what happened, but yeah. This is a really comfy pair as well. I really enjoy these. I think like my most worn pair are these two, the Urban Outfitters ones. Those are the ones I wear the most when it comes to straight leg and the pile of things that's coming up next. So this is a definite keep and I'm gonna be decluttering this. Top shop straight leg. So back when I was in my, um, so back when I was in my straight leg like mayhem days, I really wanted a light wash pair as well, and that's when I got these Levi's. So the next three pairs are all Levi's. These are their 501 cropped in this really nice light wash. They are a little snug, but I remember these having a lot of give as well. I couldn't find the size in these. There's no size tag anywhere in these jeans, so I don't remember what these are. I got them in the Levi store here in Rotterdam, so they were like a recent purchase, you could say, so I'm not sure if they still do these. But yeah, I do like them, and they do, again, have a little bit of that taper, and they're a little bit more cropped on me than many of my other jeans, which is why these get to stay. And the next pair of jeans is the ultimate pair to find at thrifting, which is a classic 501 from Levi's. Um, these I've thrifted. These were secondhand. Um, there is a vintage kilo sale close to my house and they very often have them. I bought a pair from them before this, but they had a huge hole like right here, like where your, your thighs rub together, like really in the crotch area, which I mended and it was fine, but it was also like, I think it was a men's size. And I think these are like a lady size, like within Levi's, there are definitely different, different cuts. Um, <laughs> you could definitely tell that these aren't like true, true vintage Levi's from the seventies. Those are super expensive, but yeah, um, these have definitely been worn. They feel very worn in and, um, but they they weren't tre threadbare in places like the pair I used to own. So I decluttered that older pair because I found this one instead, because these are just a slight better fit for me as well. They're not as slouchy. The ones I had previously were a little bit, a little bit bigger, especially in the crotch area. But I like these. They are a waist 34 and a leg length 30, in case you're wondering. And the final pair of Levi's jeans I have are wedgie straights. I don't know. Um, and these are nice. I like them still. But I'm like, I already have the Urban Outfitters ones. Why do I even own these? Like, I like the 501s that I have for sure. But these are also a little tight for some reason, where they're the same size as everything else. So these are weirdly tight. It's usually the case with darker wash denim. Like very often I find that black and dark wash denim is a, a lot more snug than lighter washes of denim because of how the fabric has been treated, but that's just me. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do with this. 
So I don't need to keep everything, do I? So these are gonna go, because they're also not comfortable at all. They're really digging into my hip bones here, which is not comfortable. This is not, this is not the vibe. So if you thought that the straight leg and the mom jeans wasn't enough, I still have fun jeans left for you. Who knew? Yes, I have fun jeans. Like the pair I'm wearing right now, these are BDG, so they're Urban Outfitters, and they're patchwork mom jeans. <laughs> because who doesn't love a bit of patchwork? They are too long. I know, I know. <laughs> um, because these were in the sale and this was the only size they have left. It's the same size as the other pairs of mom jeans and straight leg jeans that I have from uh, Urban Outfitters. And these are a little bit snug, I have to say. Like I really had to squeeze myself in here. But now that they're on, they're very comfortable. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. They are really comfy. I think it's because of all the seams that are running over this that it's just slightly like more, like a little bit stiffer than most jeans go um, because there's just more panels to contend with. But these are really lovely. I really love the darker wash with the lighter wash and I really enjoy this one. So this cannot go anywhere. If I have my more out there moment, I've got a pair of jeans for the occasion. But you can have a patchwork pair of jeans, but there's also two-tone ones. <laughs> and I really enjoy these two. These are from Monkey. I, don't know, I believe these are the Taiki. So they're the same, I believe they're the same shape as the mom jeans that I have. These may be a bit more straight leg though, but I really love this with like the lighter panel and the darker panel in the middle. It continues in the back, which I enjoy. Um, and I like the Urban Outfitters ones more so for or the fall winter season because they are the darker wash. And then for the spring summertime, I have this one if I have like a fun moment. So these are definitely not going anywhere. And this next pair I have been saving for the springtime. You will have seen these in a recent haul. I think it was in my winter haul that I showed you these. They are H&M and they are cargo pants, but in jean style. Like they have all the features of cargo jeans with these like pockets off to the side. This is bringing me back. I used to love cargo jeans, but like in the wider fit and because these are more of a mom fit, I feel they flattery more. <laughs> These are super stretchy though. Like these, you can just like, they feel like wearing leggings really. So they're very stretchy. So I know this isn't the best quality denim, but in a piece like this, which I'm probably going to be wearing like only once or twice a year because it's just a fun, more out there statement kind of thing. I don't think I'll be wearing these a lot. And I do like the pockets, which aren't like your classic pockets. It's more like a slit which I like as well. You do have pockets in the back. You have the double front closure with a zip. All really nice, more detailed features. So again, if you wanna wear a pant that is jeans, but isn't quite jeans, and it's got a little bit more oomph, this, this is the option. And now we're getting to the wide leg pant section. I deem these my fun pairs of, of jeans because I don't tend to wear them that often. These are the pair I wear the most because I feel this is very much a look I like to wear in the spring and summer season more so than anything else. Because I live my life through the late 90s and early 2000s when wide leg was all the rage. And since I'm a short girl, the puddles and the soaking up of the rainwater into your pants still gives me nightmares. So that's why... I only wear this something like this if it's nice weather, so I can wear it flat shoes. I cropped these myself because they were about like five inches too long for me. They are H&M and I do really enjoy these. If you want high waisted, like these are over like past my rib cage. And I like wearing these with, with a pair of sneakers, a t-shirt pair of sneakers, uh, a cropped vintage like shirt with a short sleeve. That's definitely the look that I wear these with and that's what I keep them around for. So they're a very fun summer pair, but they're not like a staple for me like it is in fashion right now. Like it's good to have like one or two pairs, but I don't need all of them. And I'm very sad to say that my other pair of H&M like straight leg kind of jeans has, for some reason they won't close. So they're a little smaller. Then again, I think when I got these, they were already snug to begin with. They're not as high waisted as I wanted them to be. That there's there that as well. And these I didn't crop. Because I was like, you know, it's good to have like a longer pair, but they are 
too long for me to wear them with flat shoes. I need to wear heels with these. And the final pair of straight leg, like wider leg jeans I have is this pair of dad jeans from Topshop. These ones I got once they moved to ASOS. So I'm not sure if it's like exactly the same quality as Topshop used to be. All of the Topshop shop jeans I've shown you until this one, I got from Topshop themselves back when they were still in business. So it's been a while since I got jeans because this is like one of the, like apart from the cargo jeans I showed you from H&M, I, that's like the first pair of jeans I've bought since the pandemic. Um, so here we have that pair of dad jeans. I really like the acid wash on this. And now that I'm looking at it, I, I'm just thinking I'm going to have to style up this pair of H&M pants. Like I need to put them on properly and like see what shoes I can wear it with because I'm now more like used to that slouchier silhouette. And I do really like the fit of these. Um, so even though they're a little bit snug... I'm just going to have to make them work somehow. So, because these are perfectly fine. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, I don't want to get rid of things for the sake of getting rid of things. But that's not all. We still have some jeans hanging up because I also have some jeans I hang up. And these are things that are sort of, well, not necessarily forgotten because I know they're there, but they are styles I don't reach for a lot. So they kind of lurk in the back of the closet. So they're there if I want them. But to be quite honest, these are the things I'm most nervous for, whether they still fit me, because I know some of these I haven't put on in a while. So I've put on one of these because these are all exactly the same pant. I think some of the sizing may be different on some of these, but these are Topshop Jamie jeans. This was my pair of jeans of choice for years. These are them in the black. These are from their petite range. They're a size 32 waist, size 28 leg. They feel so weirdly cropped on me. But yeah, I was wearing these with ankle boots, of course. So that's why the crop didn't really matter. Um, but yeah, I had a bunch of these in all of these different colors <laughs> that I really enjoyed. But yeah, these are just, you know, if, if skinny jeans come back or if I want to go back to skinny jeans, I have a bunch in sizes that fit me from a black to like your darker wash denim, your medium denim as well. So I have everything I need. Like, it's pretty, pretty good. And I think they're all Jamie jeans because that was my favorite. And here's the reason why I want to keep them around, even though I don't wear these currently, is because a lot of my Jamie jeans that I had bought back in like 2012 to 2014 had started to give out and got weird and patchy and holes in them. And then I sort of stuck around, repurchased them in my size in those colors that I liked. And then I stopped wearing skinny jeans. So a lot of these, like this black pair, if I've worn it twice, it's a lot. And I'm wearing these now. It's like, oh, it's we're like wearing leggings. Like they're very stretchy. Like they definitely have that going for them. So let me show you these colors real quickly. So this is the medium wash pair. And then I just have your like standard, like denim color. I have, um, like a darker blue and this has the contrast stitching which I like this was always my favorite pair so that's why I still have those and these are all from this is also a petite one like this one you can just see how old it is because the label is completely ruined yeah and this is a 30 30 so in the regular range I sized down because it had a longer length this is this is a 30 28 oh it does say it's a petite, but yeah, this one I wore a lot as well. But yeah, these are super stretchy because so they usually fit you. And then I have this grayish blue pair as well. So these are not going anywhere. And this is a pair of Madewell jeans. And this is with hanging with the other ones because they're all stretchy. All of my other jeans have little to no stretch. Like if they have stretch, it's like the 1%. But these have like a little bit more give to them, which is why they work. And I've been loving these. Like, they're very comfortable because of that sort of, like, stretchiness that they have. I got these when I was in New York. But I haven't worn them a lot lately. I really haven't. But I do really like the fit of them. And I like the shape. What do you guys think? Should I keep these? Because these are sort of forgotten. Because ever since I put them on the hanger, and they're with jeans I don't normally grab for, because these are also, again, that more like slim fit, which I'm just not really into. Like this with a sneaker in like the spring summer season. Like I do wear these in like the spring summer season. If it's like cooler days, I kind of see them as my like summer pair of jeans because they're thinner. 
So I'm paying, I, I want to keep them around for that reason, but I do need to put them back with my regular jeans. But if I'm getting rid of like two or three pairs, I should be able to make that work for myself. So I should be able to put this back in with the other pairs of jeans. This next pair is a pair of Topshop Dree jeans. These are a kick flare. And I remember when kick flares were all the rage, I desperately wanted a pair, but because I'm short, it never looked right. Everything was too long. And then Topshop did them in their petite range. So that's how I ended up with these. And I like them. I think because I'm so short, I can't really get away with it. And I think if I were to wear like straight leg jeans, I get the same look. Like this looks like I'm wearing my Levi's 501 cropped. And these are a mid rise, which is why they're like super snug here. Like I need like, like my waist is a little bit higher up. So they're like cutting me off at a weird point. Like, like I would keep them because like the reason why I'm keeping them is because they have the kick flare. That's the only reason why they're living in my wardrobe. And I struggled finding things like this for the longest time. They, they did take up hardly any space in my wardrobe, so I could still make these work, I think. Again, something I may have to style up to see how it looks if I wear it with shoes. Um, because I think this was like the sock boot trend kind of thing when the ankle boot became a little higher up. Yeah, maybe these have had their moment in my wardrobe. Let me know in a comment down below what you would do with these because I don't think they flare out enough. But that, you know, a kick flare is not supposed to be like a full on flare. There's that too. I'm bringing you two pairs of Topshop Jamie jeans flare. Now these are the ones that I didn't buy in a short enough size for me. I wanted them to be long so I could wear them with heels and they're perfectly fine with heels. Do I wear these a ton? No. But if I want to go for that 70s vibe, these are perfect. They're super stretchy. <laughs> so, and these have like a full on flare for sure. And then they did them in the petite range in this dark blue color. So these are like cropped at the right length for me to be wearing them with flat shoes as well. So I've always worn these more than I have these lighter wash ones that I'm currently wearing. But yeah, these are like a similar fit. So they work just fine. And uh, yeah, it, I mean, if you're short, you know the struggle of finding flare jeans that fit you. <laughs> so having two pairs, um, well, three, because I think I'm gonna keep the drees as well. Cause like I said, I know myself, if I get rid of these, I'm gonna try and find a kick, a kick flare jean. So <laughs> I know myself. So I also have to protect myself for myself. Um, so yeah, we're definitely getting rid of three pairs of jeans which, you know, it's not a massive number, but that's like, I'm just trying to curate it, narrow it down. I'm not here to do massive, like getting rid of half of my jeans collection. I like what I like, I have what I have, and that's what I wanna maintain as well. So these were all things that were like doubles that I don't necessarily need in my life. So yeah, I think these were all a good score. So thank you so very much for being here today. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Thank you so very much for watching. I will be back next week with a new video on this channel, but I post about makeup four times a week over on the other channel. And I have a blog where I post daily as well. So I hope to see you on one of those spaces for now. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.